what is up boys it is currently 423 I feel like a bit crusty honestly got like a huge gaming session um, thoughts on like self improvement rushing through my mind uh, weirdly enough I don't really regret one bit but that doesn't really justify the fact that I just wasted five six hours on video games and no real results in the real world just doing it just to burn time which is not the way I should be approaching video games, approaching this type of thing, especially how addictive it can be. I don't regret one bit, but I do feel like I could have got more sunlight, I could have got more real life work, I could have been asleep, and been waking up now, and then I get on with my day, and I'm 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., wake up, guys, and I, you know, they get along with their day type thing, and I ah, could have been like that, but instead I chose the shitty way out. My teeth feel a musty and crusty. I'm drinking some water. I've really invested like 30 hours or something. I, I stream basically every single minute. So I guess like I say I'm a stream. I'm trying to become a streamer, but that's cold. Like I'm gonna be realistic with you. Like, I'm not trying to become a streamer. The fact is, is that I'm doing actions that would correlate with me becoming a streamer however my actual intentions are very very different i played god knows how much of this fucking video game and I, I i say that and i just i used to feel immense amounts of regret before and shame before and i don't now which is kind of bad because how much time i wasted i couldn't be through my book and everything but i think quite i actually read quite a lot today so yeah i'm, I'm not sure about this you know i'm not sure i was on my reading update list, I got. Let me tell you my reading my list. If you guys are completely interested, I'm assuming you guys are interested to me. If you're watching my videos, books I've read so far: The Full Time Job Trap by Hamza. That's Hamza Ahmed on YouTube. The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ Marco. I'm currently rereading that. I'm on page 120. I went up to that high, but then I'm kind of rereading back on page 97. I love that book so much. I can I can reread it all day. Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. Just, I it, a multi millionaire recommended it on YouTube, so I decided to give it a go. It was like a forty eight page book. I finished it within three days or something. And I have to admit the truth, like it wasn't like that good. I could see the parallels you could make in real life, but it it wasn't that good. I guess I'm not at that stage yet. Unscripted by MJ Marco. Quite like an older, pessimistic, more like disgruntled, been through more shit. MJ Marco. You can feel the age on him and within his speech, with his mannerisms, with his style. In many of our he's so young, relatable and cool, but as he ages on, he kind of just separates himself from the masses. So, yeah. So, for that psychology, it's another book by, by Tracy. I feel like it helped me a lot of my sales um, thing, ability, but I have to say, more than that, like, I could have. I, I don't know, I just, I don't think I've got enough value out of that book. And, like, I felt like a chore going through that book for the most part, which is, like, really bad. It, it went, I was seven, I went eight days over time, so that's week plus eight days, that's 15 days to read that book, roughly. Atomic Habits, four days overdue, I was seven plus four, 11 days over, uh, 11 days to read Atomic Habits. Four said was a power. I'm way over that shit. Like, it's a very, very lengthy book, and to me, it it doesn't really apply to what I want to hear. You know, I hear all these multi-millionaire creators online say, "Oh, four laws of power, four laws of power, whatever." Like, it seems like non-fiction to me. It seems not real. I can, I guess, I can make parallels for my life. Like, the four laws of power says, "Think as you are, do as um, others will." Or some shit like that. I don't really rule the rule correctly correctly but it is true in that sense like I do think as I am and I do try to just behave as ever as everyone else to avoid confrontation in that sense because it's genuinely not worth it like if people would be inspired by my self proof message then like I would do it like I'm making these videos but if people are inspired by my self proof message and they're just gonna hate me thereafter like in person think I'm a dick or something like I'm looking down on them which in effect I am because I'm saying smoking is bad I'm saying vaping is bad I'm saying weed is bad I'm saying you know, wasting time is bad, video games is bad, and I actually indulge in video games myself because I'm a fucking idiot. I mean, the truth right here, I'm a genuine idiot, I'm a retard. I'm, I'm, 
I'm, my brain has regressed. Like I feel, I felt numerous times throughout playing Apex, like my my eyes unable to focus, as if they're just separating, 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 because my brain was going so numb playing that fucking video game. The time in which I've been sleeping, I violated with blue light and other things. So I can't sleep now. I have to, I have to wait for wait a minute. So I'm going to go nap nap. Anyway, the four laws of power seem like no fiction to me. It isn't really aligned with my core goals or beliefs at the moment. So I'm going to put it on hiatus. I'm on page 175. I was on like page 400, which is crazy. I'm almost page 200. I'm almost halfway through the book. I've got What Will Getting Rich, Deep Work by Cal Newport, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Miracle Morning, 4-Hour Workweek, $100 million Offers, Rich Dad Poor Dad, Art Deal Donald Trump, Dot Com Secrets, The Sly Edge by Jeff N Olson, I think, Five Levels of leader Leadership, John Maxwell, Way of Superior Man, Magic of Thinking Big, and The Almanac of Renewable Rabbit Ravid Camp. That's, that's a pretty fucking honourable list. And then after that, I'll probably be reading more books. But at the moment, I'm revisiting Millionaire Fastlane because... It is such a fucking good book, and I feel like I needed it at this time. Because my goal, my, my goal at this moment is just income, income, income. I want to make money. I want to get into shape, etc. Getting into shape is straightforward. Exercise and just eat a fuck ton of food. And as a teenager, like you'll get into shape as a result because of high testosterone, etc., etc. So I just need to exercise more and more. And I, I haven't been exercising enough. I'll be honest with you, dead honest. I've got like a fight coming up, sparring coming up, and everything. So I'll probably the moment I wake up, I want to go and run. I could go and run now. No, no, no. Getting sleep is more efficient. Um, let me just put my watch on. And um, yeah, that's it. I I played. I don't know how what time this video is. Probably would name it like I played six hours of video games and I didn't regret it. Probably not bad. And I don't know, it just isn't good in general. Like, I'm falling back into bad habits, I see myself. But I'm having like, all the good habits on the side as well. I'm like, I'm giving myself one vice, which is stupid. Like, I should have no vices. But it's like by far the biggest vice. Like, social media, pretty much none. I just post on social media. That's it. That's my extent of vice. I guess I watch a lot of YouTube. But then even then, like, I cut down that shit by a lot. Like, I used to watch a lot of YouTube. I wish I could see like, a demographic of, like, time overall I spent on YouTube. It used to be probably up here. Now, like, dead with, steady dead with the decline. Because I just don't watch YouTube that much these days. I just delete videos. I just post, 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 post. That's not my, my main concern. Record, post, edit, etc., etc. I think that's the thing with YouTube. Uh, but... Social media, not so much. Don't use, have, don't have Instagram, don't have Twitter, don't have TikTok, don't have. I have the, I have the dots. My, I have it on my PC, but I don't fucking use it. Stupid, absolutely, I think they're brain dead. I, I need to put my legs up because my blood's up rushing to my feet. I. Let's say something. I'm not sure though. I. I kind of want it to go, like think about it more, like I'm, I'm, I'm inching and inching close to Apex Predator, I feel like Platinum 3, I would harsh myself for like a few hours, and I got out, the help of friends, I'm Aussie, and then after that I solo queued a bit, got to Gold 1, got to Platinum, and then after that I, I reached, um, Platinum 3, almost Platinum 3, Platinum 4, almost Platinum 3, and I feel like I'm so close to Apex Predator, and if I just keep grinding, I'll get it. But then, like, what the fuck do I truly achieve with Apex Predator? Like, what, what, am, I, what am I really achieving? Like, I don't know what I'm achieving at the end of the day. Like, it feels fruitless, it feels pointless, it feels painful. It slightly, it feels, like, annoying, like, my brain's numb, and my emotions are detached. This is a genuine issue, guys. I'm addicted to video games. I'm, I'm addicted to video games. I want to stop. I can't. I'm addicted to video games. Like, hard addicted, bro. Like, I want to stop and I want to like forget it ever happened. I, I wish I'd never played Apex. I wish it was like it was just always day zero of playing Apex because I'm on day motherfucking God knows how much. I'm on a thousand one hundred, thousand two hundred hours at this point. I think it's like a thousand five hundred hours actually because my PS4 friend told me he has a PS5. He, he had a PS4 and I had a PS5. So he told me. Uh, sorry, but she was just coughing. That's my one. I just I wanna I wanna go back to the time I didn't play and I wanna just focus on fully on work. I also have one missing presentation project I need to do. I'll probably finish it by tomorrow, early later on today. My first my first 
So my final, my final like work, and then I send it out. I'm done. I'm done. Done. God, motherfucking damn. I do it now. Oh, I should catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I got the remote right here. Probably isn't going to work though. Oh, did it work? Fuck, it didn't work. It never works. I think it's like that on purpose.